one sip out of this and now no there's one more left um so i don't know where we last spoke but i had the amazing pleasure of substituting a illustration class at sva so sva is the school of visual arts where i got my illustration degree from my previous illustration portfolio professors yuko shimizu and marcus chin were on holiday and so they reached out to me at the like beginning of the month asking if i was free and available to substitute their class and i was just like absolutely enamored by the honor of being able to hold that position for them so i said yes and i gave a little presentation about who I am, the work that I do, and just like post-grad life. And I also brought a guest speaker who is a peer of mine. Um, we went to high school together. Her name is Olivia Fields, and I'll leave all of her socials below. She's an amazingly talented illustrator, and she was the guest speaker. So I had the privilege, the wonderful privilege, of guest speaking for one class, and the second class I was like the professor for, <laughs> um, which is like really interesting. I'm just like, wow. What a high honor. That was very, very fun because we did this in person. Um, it's really interesting to see uh, what people are up to and just like being able to answer questions. And Olivia's presentation was absolutely seamless. I feel like she hit every single nail when it came to doing more of like editorial work. And for me, I explained a little bit of how I run Patreon and my shop and just like the very non-traditional stuff and how I'm like just doing well doing freelance full time. I actually have a recording of the Zoom call interview guest speaking that I did back in May, I believe, but obviously things have changed a little bit since then. Um, and now I can actually go into the school and talk face to face, which was really, really amazing. Um, so yeah, that was, that was really fun. And now I'm going to go and run some more errands because I need more materials for the holiday shop update. <laughs>
Um, I literally hate the fact that it gets dark at like 4 o'clock. Hi, Queenie! Guess what came in the mail? I saw this at Nintendo World and I was like, I don't need it. And I'm not a plushy person. However, I've found that the Squishmallow that Paloma gave me is like perfect for when I'm taking a nap, but I need like the proper amount of like elevation for my head because it's just so soft. So he is for my neck, but also he is for emotional support. I named my Piplup starter in Pokemon Pearl Pingu. I'm pet sitting for my cats next door and she offered to give me one of her puzzles and it's actually for dogs and you put treats in them and they move like this and you can put a treat inside and Kuni was a very smart boy and he solved the puzzle, right? He's literally right over there. Here. Here. Okay, I'm gonna eat dinner. just woke up. <laughs> Yesterday I went to Renegade Craft Fair in Greenpoint, Brooklyn and it was like way more packed than the one that happened in Manhattan but I bought this really cute dress. I'll put a photo up someplace but it's like screen printed on like secondhand items and it was like the perfect fit and gave me very much Twin Peaks like diner vibes like I look like I'm ready to take your order and it has pockets so it was very very cute that's the only thing that I got from there um, I also saw some people from the last Renegade Craft Fair this is a package for Megan <laughs> look there's a Goonie on it I watched her pack this order in her vlog and I was like it's in a big box so she reused this box I love when people do that where does it open hello make sure I don't actually destroy anything. I think this is Prince. Ooh, we got the good soup. It's a Risograph print. Oh, oh. And, she, oh, and she sent me her two other Rizo prints, the Loaf Yourself and the Frog and Toad. These are so beautiful. I was so mad because I like bought from her shop and then she had the holiday update with these two new Rizzo prints and I was just like damn I should have got those too but I am on the hunt for like fancy nice frames and like secondhand frames so I want to frame all of my Rizzo and like screen printed works and like really nice prints um I'm also just like in the midst of like putting my own holiday update together and there are people that are like just sent out the last package for my holiday update and I'm like what am I doing wrong? Why is it taking me so long to update my shop? <laughs> Thanks, Radia. And there's Cooney and Spicy! Small friend. Oh! We have two little mushroom stickies in here. And then, oh! She used her frog washi tape. Yes, okay. Alright. Yes, yes! It's the little things. I constantly have to tell myself that it's always the little things. Sometimes like the big great things don't happen and life is about the little happy things. I think this might be what I think it is. And, oh yes, it's a tote bag. And then we have a really cute fabric care card. 
So even when it comes to running a small business, it's about the little things. Oh, and it's a gusset. Oh, this is so beautiful. Wait, it's so big. I didn't realize the scale of this. This is perfect for groceries. And it's gusseted. <laughs> what happened to my voice and it's gusseted so like the the bottom like there's like she can hold a lot i like gusseted tote bags oh and it's not like too thin or too thick it's perfect it's perfect mm. oh yes i forgot i bought a oh i already see through the glassing bag i bought a pair of the shrink plastic earrings she did they're so cute. It looks like this, um, and I just love the colorways. I do have a pair of the clay house earrings, the like first ring she did, but I just really love the look of this one. Um, yeah. Let me get... Oh wait, I have earrings in. Damn it. Okay, I'll try them on another time. But in here, so Megan found a froggy timer from Daiso because I can't find the stupid little froggy timer from Daiso. So now I have my little froggy kitchen timer. I have a little piggy one on my desk so that I can do like the Pomodoro method and take like uh, five minute breaks every time I work for 20 minutes straight. And then we have this little froggy washi tape, which you saw in the package before. And I think that's it. Oh my God, this is so, so generous. I got so many extra goodies, Megan, I love it. Oh, I'm like really sad and crusty right now. I'm not sad and crusty, I'm just like, just crusty right now. <laughs> but I can't wait to frame these, thank you so much! Everyone please go check out Megan's work, I love Megan so much. I get really sad that she moved to LA sometimes because I'm just like, damn, we could have been studio buddies! But uh, I'm also excited that she started streaming! Sorry, I just like gush about Megan because I remember following her work last year and like seeing the progress and it's just like these are the results and I'm just so happy for her. Thank you so much Megan. I am so proud of you. So so proud. Okay hold on. I didn't even check in the big paper envelope but there were more prints and stickers inside and we have this little print here. We have Froggy Sticky, Froggy Wizard. Um, I have another one of these already. We have Zero Thoughts Butterfly same we have the muscular pear um spicy pumpkin and oh we have baker ivy this little baker cat and then this is the thank you card and her business card so cute thank you so much megan so this is where you can find her work if you'd like anything that you saw i could have used some backup i could see that like two voices saying Slow down. Hey, I feel like I'm in danger. I have said just like crowded people, like going through hallways. I mean, they're beautiful, but it's so, so crowded. You just kind of want to get out. But it there's like pillars, and in between the pillars, there's tapestries, old tapestries. And Allen turns to me and says, great, more rugs. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So those are the two that I read that I thought were really funny. At one point, Ali and I walk in the streets of Rome, and the lady comes up to Ali and gets like an inch away from her face. Oh, I got sick. Ew, why? She looks poofy. She always puts. you guys can see me but once again the sun is going down at like 3 p.m but i'm just like rolling this um washi on these paper gift tags as like washi samplers and i thought i would give a piece of advice if you also are someone that has like washi tapes and want to do sampler packs so essentially i was like okay for the sampler pack i'm gonna do about three feet of washi per sample and instead of like measuring it out completely, I'm literally like rolling it onto the card as I like roll out the washi. And I essentially just measured 
how much it is like the width of this and it's like 3.5 inches and three feet is like 36 inches so i'm like all right so in order to get like roughly three feet of washi on this card i'm going to have to roll the washi on this card 10 times seven eight nine and then ten and this is about three feet of washi here we are so a little washi card oh my god if it would freaking focus um <laughs> why am i struggling so bad sorry um three feet a little washi sample and hopefully when I make more non-seasonal washi designs, I can add like more designs onto the card. Um, but yeah, these are just paper cards. I know people use plastic ones, but I don't want to use plastic. So you could totally just recycle this afterwards. I just have like a stamp for the life. Oh my God, this is not focusing. <laughs> um, I just have this uh, self-inking self -inking stamp from rubberstamps.com with my own design. And then I have these boys uh, printed out on my thermal label. And yeah, this is this is so fun. I am very excited for this. And these are gonna make such great gifts now that I think about it. I love introducing people to things and I feel like this is just like every little bit and piece if you are a stationary fanatic. So yeah, um, totally welcome to, you know, borrow this idea if you're doing sample stuff because this is like a more eco-friendly method rather than like maybe you buy a whole notepad and decide this is not your jam um you can just get a stationary sampler pack and even the glassine bag is recyclable which is sweet because it's, it's i wrote it on here too please reuse or recycle this bag cards for my enamel pins. I have a, where did I put it? <laughs> I have a new enamel pin, the flower one, the flower pony, and I had to design another backing card for it. It's in a more pastel colorway than I, than my usual liking, um, but I like it. It's very out of season, clearly, but I, I still love it. Um, unfortunately, the place where I get my prints, a, a majority of my prints and backing cards done is from Fireball, Fireball Printing. And uh, they actually gave me um, my own like unique discount code. If you want to use it, I'll leave it like somewhere up here and in the description. The, they ran out of their recycled paper option and I try my very best to make sure that most of the paper that I use is made out of recycled content. So unfortunately I did have to buy one of their like regular paper stocks, which is a little bit heavier than the recycled paper option. But next time I'm hoping they, they will have it because I asked when their ETA would be, but it would be like maybe next year and I don't have time for next year. So they're still recyclable, just not made of 100% recycled paper, unfortunately, but still very cute. Also look at our Christmas tree. This is my lovely little pink Christmas tree and I've always wanted like a pink tree since I was a kid, but growing up in a Muslim household, obviously like there was no reason for us to have a tree, even though we technically do have like a tiny tree now, but it's a regular green tree. Um, and I initially wanted to get a real tree. However, pine needles are toxic to cats and Kuni just likes licking stuff off the floor. So if there's any stray needles, that would be a big no-no. So 
I will be using this for years to come and I'm just obsessed with the little uh, ornaments that I bought from Target and I, Julian actually put up my little bat ornament up here but it's, it's so cute. I love it so much. peculiar about getting gifts for people that they like the gifts are something they actually need so Julian has this chair and like the back like flops down um basically it's like not that great of a chair it's also not that comfortable you can see like there's like two cushions on it and it's still kind of meh so I bought Julian a new office chair and this is how I wrapped it he will never guess what it is.
His head is supposed to hold popcorn. Can side robot. Can side robot. Mm. Oh, he's scared. I finally got Kuni into the sweater. Kuni. Kuni. <laughs> he does not like. Hello. I got something very exciting in the mail today. This came all the way from Japan. When I went to Anime New York City, I saw that a lot of these, the, the artists in the artist alley had these like mini gastropon machines. And um, Japan actually sells the miniature toy version. And so I bought it and Julian decided to like kind of get it for me as our anniversary gift. And I'm really excited because I've always wanted to table <laughs> at like art markets and art fairs and conventions. But obviously with COVID, I don't know what the vibes are. Um, here it is! So it's the official like Bandai Gashapon machine. She cute. I do want to start tabling next year at art markets. I mean, I don't have any need to because I sort of operate everything out of my studio and eventually I do want to get an external studio. But the one thing that I do love about art markets is that I get to meet other people and meet other artists and see people face to face which is like the really lovely part about it and make new connections oh, man i'm so excited for this <gasps> so i wanted to actually use this because when i'm at an art market i can put in like b-grade enamel pins and it can be like a mystery like pull like you crank the machine these are the little like um pods what are they the gotcha this is the gotcha and the reason it's called like a uh, gashapon or like gachapon is because of the noise that it makes when you turn it. It's like very satisfying. The first time I used a gashapon machine um, was I think at Anime NYC. So, ah, oh, it's so cute! Look at her! Wow! Oh my god! Oh, we have another set of these. Sweet. And I think this is the lid. I love it already. Okay, let me just go assemble this. <gasps> Yay! Ah. <laughs> Here it is. And I believe the coins get put in the back. Ah, I love excited i'm so excited hi i just wanted to pop in towards the end of the video and do a little voiceover so the last week of december was a wild turn of events obviously there was christmas and we initially planned to go over to julian's dad and stepmom's apartment in brooklyn for dinner however christmas morning julian's dad wasn't feeling well and got tested for covid which turned up positive He's doing okay now, but those plans fell through, so we ended up staying in and watching movies. That same night, Julian got a fever and I was on edge that it might be COVID. I low-key still have trauma from when my entire family got COVID, including me. So the next morning, I called up my mom and asked her for her chicken soup recipe. I remember really enjoying this as a kid before I went vegan. And as much as I hate handling meat, I decided to make a big pot for Julian. 
I also ran out and got like 15 oranges, I'm not even kidding, and a bunch of groceries in the event we had to quarantine if this fever is actually COVID. Mind you, this is around the time that cases in New York City were surging to the point where you had to wait like three hours in line for COVID tests, and those at-home tests were super scarce at pharmacies. The entirety of Christmas weekend was a bit of a nightmare because in less than 48 hours, Julian took a test, I think it was Sunday morning, and it turned up negative, and Monday afternoon retested and it turned up positive, which put us all in a bit of a panic because Emma was coming home the same day from Connecticut, and I had to disinfect the whole house and sort of move my workspace into our bedroom so we could quarantine for a few days. I also waited in line for like two hours to get a PCR test since I had already been exposed to Julian, and as I mentioned, finding those at-home tests were impossible during that time. We ended up just ordering some online, but in that time, I spent like a whole week in bed and watched uh, like a lot of shows and we played board games. And I am someone who is go, go, go. It's one of the good and bad traits about me. Like I get shit done, but I also don't know how to relax. And I think this entire situation gave me a reason to slow down and rest in the process. By the way, Julian wasn't dying or anything, thank goodness. Um, he had a speedy recovery and apparently I never had COVID despite sharing the room with him. I don't know how, but we managed to sort of survive this whole predicament as a household and Emma didn't even get COVID either. By the way, both of us were fully vaccinated and we were literally scheduled for our booster in January. And the first time I had COVID, the vaccine wasn't widely available yet. It was honestly such a wild entry into the new year and actually made some toshikoshi soba, which is a Japanese noodle soup traditionally eaten on New Year's Eve. My patrons and I also put together a little Animal Crossing party on our Discord server, which was really fun. I literally haven't picked that game up in a year, and I sort of occupied myself with little tasks I've been meaning to do, like wash my makeup brushes, clean out the closet, and even like paint these frames that I got. I've been meaning to frame so much of the like original artwork that I've bought from other artists. I really want to put up more artwork around the apartment. It feels like I've just been hoarding prints but I've been on a slow hunt to find the perfect frame for each or just paint them to match. But yeah, that was my last two months of 2021. I'm glad we were able to catch up together once again, despite the chaotic ending of my year. Thanks again to my wonderful patrons for your support. Their patronage helps me continue putting out lovely content for you guys to enjoy and supplement with my illustration work. I have a lot of exciting things to share in 2022, including my new desktop, which has made editing so much faster. And with that, I shall see you again in the next video. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe and healthy. Hope 2022 is treating you right, and I'll see you again real soon. But for now, goodbye, and I hope you have a great day.